What's up guys, Rossi here, back with some more Firewatch. We're gonna continue playing it, cause the full game has now been released, it's not just a demo anymore. But sadly, you can't continue where you left off in the demo, it didn't save your progress. So you have to play it over again if you play the demo. So I went to do that and I noticed that the beginning is completely different from what it was in the demo. I'm not sure how different it is, I didn't get too far into it, it might just be new, like the intro, I don't know. You see Julia, she's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Bowler. You, Henry, are drinking out with your pals, you approach her. Uh, let's go with this one. You're pretty, she says, coolly. You are not, you are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. This is like before we got into the forest. This is really cool. This is epic. Is that our truck? Load gear. Oh yeah. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts, it's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love, she wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Let's get her the dog that she wants. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. A <laughs> uh, couple little idiots. Yeah, sounds pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. <laughs> it's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Damn, this is so cool. There was no intro like this in the demo. So that's why I wanted to, to show you guys. Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call your word and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, uh, you ignore her? You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Uh, you pose and flex like he man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Let's go with that one. Julia was right. You are very pretty. I know. I know. Thank you. This is very nice. I don't even remember how the that monster. Oh yeah, the yeah. We just like got to the forest immediately. Oh, look at that sunset. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. 
B but fuck the the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. Stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. I beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Uh, I guess we'll go with this one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from jail on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were not important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Yeah, fuck it. It works. <laughs> Bam. Macaroni and wine, you can never go wrong. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Oh, look at this. Man, this is so cool. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> okay? What the fuck was that, dude? <laughs> what did we just witness? We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen? Alright, uh, back to the story. Let's just pretend we didn't see anything, okay? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with a 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Ah oh man, I, don't, I think it's best to, to move her into the care facility. I th yeah, I think so. Whoa! St Hello! No, we scared him away. No, come back. Oh, it continues. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband. If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. 
sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And that's how we became a firewatcher. Yep, this is where you started in the demo. This right here. Wow. That was a really nice story actually. Quite sad. So now we know why why we ended up here, pretty much. Damn. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. We'll have a new Firewatch episode up tomorrow, probably. I can't promise anything, but most likely tomorrow or the day after that. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.